CBS presents this program in color. And now, for the next 30 minutes, as the world turns. Brought to you today by Joy, the dishwashing liquid that gets dishes so clean you get a see-yourself shine. Here, let me help, Mom. Oh, Mother, can't we use the good china? Sally's coming for dinner. These will be fine, dear. But her mother does everything so nicely. Uh, now, Judy, stop badgering her mother. She's worked hard all day. Great-looking table, Mrs. Davis. But you shouldn't have gone to so much trouble. Oh, we do this all the time. <laughs> Groovy shine. I can see myself in your china. Hey, Mom, me too. What'd you do? I washed them the way you should, with Joy. Joy gets dishes so clean you really can see yourself. Joy is different. Joy is clear. Cleans right down to the shine. Makes even everyday china look pretty special. Real groovy shine, Mrs. Davis. Why, thank you, Sally. If you like these dishes, Sally, you should see our good china. Oh, Daddy. Joy gets dishes so clean, you can see yourself. Claire? Michael, don't you understand? Can't you understand that ever since Lisa told me... I thought we decided that we weren't going to talk about Lisa or her baby. Now, 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 now can't we let it go, Claire? I can't. Well, I want to talk about Lisa. I suppose I, uh, I have no choice. If you uh, have to talk about Lisa, I should at least have the courtesy to listen. Thank you. There are several questions that I've wanted to ask you for a long time. Well, I, I, I know you've been going through a difficult time. We, we both have. But, but Michael, before we go on our trip, I would like to get some things clarified for me. You do know how much I love you. Well, darling, I never doubted that. But I've never really been sure that, that you loved me. I've always been afraid that you would find a, a woman who was younger, a woman who was more attractive, a woman who... Well, you, you know what I'm trying to say. Claire, you're a wonderful woman. I wouldn't want to be married to anyone else. Did you have some sort of affair with Lisa? Well, how can I answer that question? With a simple yes or no. Not too many questions can be answered with a simple yes or no, Claire. Claire, don't forget that I knew Lisa before you and I were married. She was Mrs. Eldridge then. She was my patient. Nancy Hughes sent it to me. Did you find anything wrong with Mrs. Eldridge? No, she was a little anemic. I took her out for a cocktail after office hours. Then you did find her attractive. Oh. Claire, she is an attractive woman. And she is a young woman. Did you see Lisa after we were married? Well, as a patient, yes. I even made some house calls. Now, if you consider these house calls in the nature of an affair, then the answer is yes. Fair darling, Lisa isn't a woman I'd care to be married to. And there's one thing you must understand. I did not father her child. Then why? Why would she even suggest that you were the father her, of her son if... Claire, do you know Lisa very well? Well, yeah, quite well. Mm -hmm. Well, do you know how many men she might have been interested in at one time or another? Well, I, I only know one man that, that she was ever interested in, uh, uh, Bruce Elliott. Mm -hmm. But that was a very long time ago. After she and Bob were divorced, everyone thought that she and Bruce would be married. 
Did she have an affair with him? But no, I, I can't say that for a fact. I have... I assume she had an affair with him. Uh, yes. Uh, but, I mean, no one, I mean, not even Bob, can know for sure whether she had an affair with him or not. And then she met John Eldridge. Well, I know very little about John Eldridge. I know he's a very fine attorney, but I certainly don't know why she divorced him. I, I never asked Lisa. Isn't it possible that this baby might be his baby? Well, it, it's, it's possible, Claire, yes. Lisa went to Chicago for a while, shortly after I met her. Why, she told me that the second time she, I saw her in my office that she might divorce her husband. She, she wasn't sure. Darling. Before their divorce, don't you think they might have spent some time together? That's quite possible. Well, isn't it possible that Eldridge might have remarried before Lisa knew she was pregnant? But then why didn't she tell him she was pregnant? Why didn't she go to Chicago after she was able to take a baby out of the hospital? I can't answer those questions, Claire. Only Lisa knows why she did what she did. Only Lisa knows why she said what she said. But why you, Michael? I mean, does she care for you? I mean, no, I mean, did she care for you? I don't know, Claire. I don't know if Lisa loves anyone but herself. But I have an idea that either Eldridge has that baby or Lisa's already put it out for adoption. From what I know about John Eldridge, if that baby was his son, he would want it. They were married for several years, and Nancy told me John Eldridge, he wanted children. Oh. Well, how would Nancy know that? Nancy? Mm -hmm. Well, Nancy would know what Lisa... what Lisa chooses to tell her. Right. Oh, Claire, as far as Lisa's concerned, that's all anyone will ever know about anything, what she chooses to tell them. That's probably why she thought I... Yes, Michael? Why, she thought you might believe her rather than me. She might have thought that you would want a divorce. She might have thought almost anything. Darling, the fact remains that neither you nor I have heard one word from Lisa Hughes. Doesn't that answer your questions? Mm -hmm. Oh, Michael. I know you better today than I've ever known you. And all I know is, if Lisa's baby were your son, you couldn't walk away from that child. Oh, darling. I'm glad you said that. And I'm glad we had this talk. And I promise I'll never bring it up again. Good night, Michael. Good night. my son, and he's a beautiful baby, my son, but I have to walk away from him, Claire, suspension, suspension, Claire's right, I've got to get away, I've got to go on this trip. I've got to get away from this whole thing. Cold water washing, mostly for colored clothes, not the whites. Until today, now super cheer. 
breaks the ice. Even get your whites clean in cold water. Cheers formula is preset to release whitening energy when you choose cold water. Now Cheer gets clothes cleaner and whiter than any other leading detergent in cold water. Even gets your whites clean in cold water. Ellen, your house is not clean. What? Oh, but I've never tried to clean there before. You never had new top job. It's heavy duty. Cleans dirt that's never been cleaned before. That is strong. Stronger than all the other liquids. Beat any you've tried. Look at my floor, like it's never been cleaned before. New heavy-duty top job with ammonia cleans dirt that's never been cleaned before. Claire, I, uh, I think it's very wise for you and your husband to get away for a while. Well, I want to ask you... Well, there are several things, David. I'm sure you must know how concerned a doctor must be to... to be suspended from practicing for six months. Time passes very quickly, Claire. I'm sure when the two of you return from your trip, he'll have planned how he wants to devote his time until going back to the practice again. What about Memorial? Do you think Michael will ever be able to take his patients back to Memorial? I don't know about that for sure. Well, you could be of a great deal of help. You have a great deal of influence at that hospital. Once he's reinstated, I see no reason why he shouldn't have patients in, at Memorial. Of course, that's really up to the medical director and the committee to decide. Can I count on you for help? Claire, I don't really have all that much influence. Yes, you do. Perhaps you can balance the ledger. Dan's testimony at the trial. Well, I don't have to tell you how very disappointed I was that my own grandson. Claire, Dan doesn't know he's your grandson. And as you know, Ellen has decided that he is never to know that she's his mother. Dan is his own man now, Claire. Make no mistake about that. Whatever his testimony was, I'm sure he was honest. If it was prejudicial, it was also honest. Well, you and Dan certainly seem to have bridged the gap that existed between you for a time. Claire, I don't have to tell you that both Dan and Paul mean a great deal to me. It was Ellen's wish that nothing should ever come between Dan and me. You do know how much Dan means to Ellen. Yes, I do. He means enough to her that she's able to let him alone. I'm counting on you to help me with Michael. Claire, I'll do whatever I can. Thank you, David. When are you and uh, Michael planning to leave? Well, Monday or Tuesday. I've already started packing. I thought we'd fly to New York on Monday, and then Tuesday we'd take a boat and be on our way to the island. Why don't the two of you come over to dinner tonight or tomorrow? Well, I'd have to talk to Michael about that. I, I'm not at all sure he's in the mood to go out for dinner. Well, I'd like to talk to him. He's a good doctor. What happened is unfortunate, but I don't believe he'll ever... Well, it won't happen again. Are you sure, David? Very sure. Then you do understand what happened in Mrs. Steiner's room that night? Yes, I do. I understand it. I, as a doctor, I can't condone it any more than Dan could. Claire, may I say something to you? Well, of course, David, you can say anything you like to me. I, uh, I haven't mentioned this before. I haven't felt that I had the right, but... you have been doing quite a bit of drinking. Yes, I know. Well, Claire... But I don't think I could be classified as an alcoholic, not quite. I didn't use that word. I did. But I've stopped drinking. I haven't had a drink now. Well, I won't, I won't tell you how long. But you see, when this happened to Michael, well, now just the thought of 
thought of alcohol, it, it, it repulses me. Sometimes you need a shock, you know? And this problem, well, I'm sure we're going to be able to work it out together, and with your help, and I'm sure everything's going to be all right. Oh, David, I didn't know it was so late. I don't want to keep you. I know you have to go back to the hospital. You know, Claire, I think you're more yourself this morning than I have seen you in a long time. One day, I'll try being the woman I used to be. But I'm afraid it's going to take a little time to forget that I want to be young again. Claire, you are a lovely lady. Please don't ever hesitate to be Claire again. Thank you, David. Nabisco introduces Mr. Salty and Mr. Salty Pretzels. Mr. Salty Pretzels are carefully baked and carefully salted. So there's always just enough salt, just enough pretzel. You'll find Mr. Salty's picture on the outside of every Mr. Salty package. Three ring, Dutch, sticks, twist, and delicious pretzels inside. If you get there first. In the time it takes to make instant coffee, you can make new mix-and-eat cream of wheat cereal. Pour into a bowl, add boiling water, stir a bit. Presto, delicious hot cream of wheat. Still guards your family with a full day's supply of iron. Only we've done the cooking. As easy as instant coffee, new mix-and-eat cream of wheat has been brought to you today by totally new Top Job, the heavy-duty floor cleaner. We'll continue with As the World Turns, following station identification. And now the second portion of As the World Turns, brought to you by new Instant Nescafe with natural coffee flavor. Oh, you were able to get in touch with Dr. Shea, huh? Yeah, I reached him in his office. I told him I wanted to see him if he could spare me a half hour. Huh? Did he ask you why uh, you want to see him? No. I'm almost sure he thought it was in connection with the hearing. Well, why would you think that? I represented him there. I don't know. But he said he'd be down within a half hour or so. Well, you got nowhere with Lisa. I told you she listened to everything I had to say. But Lisa Hughes has, has her mind made up. And there, there isn't anyone who's going to change it. Dick, I cannot imagine this woman going ahead with this paternity suit. She's got to be out of her mind. Well, she's made one thing clear. Dr. Shea is going to admit paternity. He's going to acknowledge that he's the father of her child. Now, she's very sure that she's doing the right thing for her baby. I don't even think she's considered the problem she might have with Tom. Well, I'm sure she thinks she doesn't have any problem. Dick, as far back as I can remember, she's been able to tell that boy anything, make him believe anything. Well, this is something altogether different. He's not a small boy. He's approaching adulthood. Well, there isn't a 15-year-old today who doesn't know a lot more about what's going on in the world than we ever thought of knowing at 15. And they know it as a reality. You know, I got Tom figured out as a kind of young man who knows a lot more than he ever says. Not about his mother. No, no, not a thing about his mother. I think you better duck out, Chris. I'm sure you don't want to be around no. to hear what I have to say no. to Dr. Shea. I'll see you later. Yes. Ask Dr. Shea to wait just a few minutes, please. We'll return to As the World Turns in just a moment. This is one of the powdery instant coffees you've known for years. Obviously. This is Nescafe. Obviously. Nescafe's granules are obviously bigger. Obviously. Obviously darker. Obviously. Obviously, Nescafe makes a richer cup of coffee. 
Do you mind if I check that? Go right ahead. Nescafe is an obviously better instant with natural coffee flavor. If seeing isn't believing, try tasting. Obviously. Oh, it's not a fit day for a man or beast. But I've got the system to warm up fast. Warm milk? And? Nestle's quick. Quick dissolves instantly in milk. It has vitamin C and iron and the very best chocolate flavor. Hmm. Just right. Hot milk and Nestle's quick. The world's best early warming system. <laughs> Try it on your family. Hot Nestle's quick. Well, uh, isn't Mr. Hughes going to join us? No, Doctor, he isn't. What I have to discuss with you is confidential. And I hope we can keep it that way for everyone's sake. It hasn't anything to do with the Steiner case? No, it hasn't. Now, I've done everything possible to avoid this meeting, but when a woman makes up her mind about something, it's difficult even for an attorney to change it. What woman are you talking about? Lisa Hughes. Oh, well, um, what about her? No, it doesn't concern her so much as it does her son. Are you going to tell me that she's been to see you regarding her baby? That's just about what I'm telling you. Hmm. She's uh, evidently convinced you that I'm the father of her son. Her son and yours. Hmm. Well, if I'd known that you were going to ask me down here to discuss a lie, that's what it is, a lie. Uh, just a minute, Dr. Shane. You're going to have to be very frank with me because I'm going to be very frank with you. I don't know how she convinced a man of your caliber. Uh, she didn't convince me. The evidence did. There isn't a blood test in the world that can prove that I'm the father of her child. No. But I have witnesses, your signature, registers you signed at the various places you stayed with Mrs. Hughes, the doorman, the elevator man, the building where Mrs. Hughes lived. When I saw Mrs. Hughes at her home, I saw her as a doctor. Well, I'm sure you didn't see her as a doctor at all the places you stayed together, so, including a weekend in New York, uh, several hotels, uh, you two have been together. And uh, that's proof, is it? That's proof that I'm the father of her child? It's all the proof I'll need. It's all the proof a court will need if you want to go to court. If you want a trial, I have witnesses who will identify you and Lisa. Well, Dr. Shane. Oh, oh, hi, Trudy. Oh, how's the bride to be? Oh, nervous, Josephine. She's never cooked in her life. Now she's trying to learn everything in two weeks. Oh, hey, Mom. Well, better to practice now than on your future husband. Huh? <laughs> but my poor sink, look at those food stains. They're tough. Well, now, every new bride should learn about Comet. Mom uses this. But Comet bleach is better. Really? Want to see? Run some water. I'll sprinkle both cleansers on the stains. Usually you rub cleansers, but with this test, we'll just let them soak. Now, drain and rinse. Some difference. My cleanser got beat. Comet has super chlorinol. Disinfects, too. I'll sure try it. So maybe you won't be the world's greatest cook, but your sink will look beautiful. Comet bleaches that tough food stains better than any other leading cleanser. Would you like to read this? Lisa Hughes, plaintiff versus Michael Shea, defendant. Ray, acknowledgement of paternity. Michael Shea being first duly sworn on oath to poses and says that he is the defendant in the above entitled cause and that he hereby acknowledges that he is the father of Charles, born on the 18th day of December 1967 to 
Lisa Hughes. Plenty. Michael Shea hereby consents to the entry of a judgment order finding that he is the father of the aforesaid child. And, uh, I'm supposed to sign this paper, am I? Do you have any choice, Doctor? Let me tell you something. If it weren't for me, this would have been brought up during your hearing. I insisted that Lisa wait. To be very honest with you, I didn't want to take this case. But I knew she'd find another attorney who wouldn't care if this paternity suit became public property. But I did care. I very much cared. Because of your wife. Now take my advice, doctor. Sign that document. Now I have the power of a notary. I can swear you in. I have a notary seal. Now see to it that this document remains secret. It won't go into the files of the circuit court. I'm not doing this for you. I think you know that. But I wouldn't want Claire hurt any more than she has been. Let me have your pen. I'll sign the document. The ushers and matrons would simply love to go home, lay down, and sleep away their headaches. Unfortunately, the Bijou runs continuous performances all day. So, they're passing the bottle. The vanquished bottle. You should kiss that headache goodbye, Mervyn. You should forget that headache, Miss Runyon. That one shouldn't come back. You see, when you take just two vanquish, your headache shouldn't return for more. Vanquish is different. In its unique caplet shape, Vanquish combines three medications for extra headache relief action, plus the added action of two buffers. A more complete formula designed for more complete relief. The staff of the Bijou are returning to their jobs now, but their headache should not return. Vanquish in the no-return headache bottle. To you As by Nestle Squick, Nestle makes the very best chocolate. Join us Monday for As the World Turns.